Moral- Ah, oh, come on, let's be honest, this was annihilation at this point. Anyway, uh, hey everybody, this is RetroCare RetroCare Reviews doing a not kayfabe figure related, uh, storyline for this review, mainly because, uh, this is the week before, um, the actual new reboot comes out, and I might save it for either, uh, that review, or hopefully, fingers crossed, uh, any of the honorable mentions I'm gonna mention, uh, leading up to that movie, yeah, I don't have time for- uh, the attempt of reboots but prior to the new movie or Conquest. Believe me, I really want y'all to watch Conquest yourself. Um, I highly recommend, uh, just in case, uh, Phelous's reviews over the years, cards, any of them. Uh, I'll probably dig up some good ones if not crazier ones, honestly, knowing uh, the Conquest reviews. Um, but yeah, I'll try to do a, a correction speed run right now uh, for my previous uh, Mortal Kombat review, uh, also card here, probably later on. Uh, I forgot to mention uh, Katana throughout all of uh, that uh, review when I was either those any of the characters in that, in that video. My bad in advance. I'm a one-man show and I have to voice the big majority of this cast, which are usually guys. And that being said, my apologies to Talisa Soto. Uh, hopefully I got her last name right. Uh, I think she was a Bond girl during like the Timothy Dalton years. Uh, probably, I want to say, License to Kill or either one of them. I think he had two total uh, compared to everybody else later on. Um, nothing really much after that. Uh, I forgot to mention most of uh, the last couple of fights that uh, they had, which was the Reptile fight, and I think Shang Tsung's or the Johnny Cage v. Sub -Zero, not Sub Zero, uh, Sub <laughs> Johnny versus uh, Scorpion was probably a reshoot by Robin himself. Uh, Robin Shu, who also plays, uh, well, returning <laughs> in Annihilation's case, uh, Liu Kang. And to, until he started, like, the only two recurring uh, actors that come back to this, everybody else is recasted. Yeah, let me just get the recast out of it before we get to what I can barely remember the plot of the original uh, script when it comes to Annihilation. Um, James Remar, uh, out of everyone who got recast, it got to be Raiden. Uh, Sandra Har Harris, I, got, I hope I got, I got her name right, is uh, Sonya Blade. Lynn Red Williams, wow, got that first try, <laughs> honestly, uh, was Jax, and Jax uh, apparently had a weird, like, character arc, and everybody did, all oh, later in the plot, I'll get to that later, of just like, what's the deal with your arm? I'm like, dude, it's cybernetic arms, and he was fine in the first game, it's just, he got better with the Warbound arms, I'm just saying, speaking of someone who's used to maining him, I think, around, like, X or 11, mostly X, if I remember correctly, um, yeah, so... After that, uh, the rest of the cast is just basically new people that uh, apparently uh, one of them was an actor in my childhood I never thought would actually be Nightwolf. Yeah, Little Bear himself. Uh, for those who remembered uh, Indy in the Cupboard, there you go. Will I ever do a retro of it? Uh, maybe. Keep in mind, this is my childhood movie. Um, I'm more conflicted than, like, say, anything else around that time, so that being said. So, hopefully that is the groundwork out of the way um one last honorable mention there was a lot of build up for this movie uh right after uh the first mortal Kombat. like the cartoon was out by that time i think it was a uh, defenders of the realm there was actually another cartoon which was like a explainer video for the kids that also had a cheat code for uh mk3 at the time never got the video never played mk3 i was like almost like five or six around that point um yeah so the rest of the cast, uh, oh, last in the marketing, uh, of course, was Conquest, and uh, I think that was it. Those they were basically doing the Matrix approach of like let's like give all the supplemental material, have a marketing machine, live shows because it was the '90s at the time. And um, I think one kid said in like for some of those interviews, if you look them up, it's like oh, this was better than the Power Rangers live show. And speaking as a car carrying Power Rangers slash Tokusatsu fan, you know. <laughs> uh, anyway, that all said, let's just let's just get this. This plot over that made me sit through this movie four times! Four fucking times. Yes, this was that short of a movie to sit through four times. So basically the length of pretty much the signer cut nowadays. But I still forget even the ending. I remember the build-up and most of the second act. But how we got to the ending when the worlds were merging uh, from Outworld and like Out Earth, uh, that's, the whole, that's the whole plot of it. Uh, basically, um... Shao Kahn's here, played by Brian Thompson, who you may remember as the biggest dude at uh, Schwarzenegger took out on uh, the first uh, Robocop, not Robocop, wow, I'm mixing so many movies today, 
and most of the everything I said got to be guest characters in Mortal Kombat 11. Yeah, it's that kind of week. Anyway, yeah, he he was in the first uh, Terminator guys asking along with uh, Bill Paxton. Uh, go to the kill count um, if you want to see how he put two and two together there. Uh, I looked up uh, photos of Prime nowadays, and man, the years were not kind to him. Like, that chin just grew and grew into, like, a double chin thing. Either he quit drugs or something, I don't know. Cast life aside, he is also a really bad Shao Kahn, but he has the most memeable lines, uh, which is going to be very needed, because Sindel, played by, god, I forgot, I'm, apologies to your name in advance, ma'am. Uh, if I butcher it, um, Musuto Vander, uh, she's apparently four years older than Salto when they were filming this movie, you could not tell, because they look legit the same age, and, oh, maybe because she died early on, which is canon, because Sindel does die, and then, because, like, which, what Katana always thought, she, she was always brainwashed and stuff into being, like, uh, Shao Kahn's bride for the rest of her days. No, it turns out that she wanted to do it in general. She wanted to grow up with the Indians and all this stuff. Yes, I just dumped a lot of Mortal Kombat lore in between talking about the plot of Annihilation. Yes, yeah, strap in. This is going to be really, 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 really short. Hopefully. <laughs> uh, hopefully. Anyway, so yeah. Um, Basically, from here on out, um, the first 30 seconds of the movie was like the OG uh, theme right up until you see Johnny Cage get killed. Up to 30 seconds in, who also happened to be the guy from... <laughs> I can't believe I found this fact out. Uh, I think the love interest in Next Karate Kid. Uh, I am to be, by the way, down below in case you guys want to follow along. Because, uh, holy shit. <laughs> yeah, uh, for those who are new to my channel, I did an entire Karate Kid month, let alone now reviews with the Cobra Kai series. And I could not recognize that guy for the life of me. All I remembered from my review of uh, Next Karate Kid, if you guys want to check it out was me basically losing my mind on the nerf montage scene because I also do uh, nerf stuff here. Uh, now, that being said, am I ever going to do a real nerf loadout for anybody in the MK series? Um, yes, maybe. I don't know. Um, the, the closest I can think of is probably uh, Aaron Black, who apparently, uh, from looking into his lore, has been basically Jobber uh, Killer. Like, he's been... Uh, I think in between, like, 9 and 10, he was, like, basically taking out every Jobber character... One of which I may or may not have accidentally threw myself into a dumb theory that made no sense. Yeah, I covered my previous video on that. Uh, apologies to everyone there, including Squall, who l uh, lengthily told me in Discord that, uh, no, 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 this is a completely different direction. But again, I wanted to fill time leading up to this review, and kind of wish I didn't now. Anyway, so, yeah, the whole point of, uh, I guess, in Shao Kahn's case is like, okay, well, guess we couldn't really do the 10 tournaments thing to get the world. I'm going to cheat and do it anyway because fuck y'all, that's why. Sorry for the swears I had, but then again, that's Annihilation. Please, YouTube, let me swear for this one, honestly. So, um, on top of that, uh, Shinnok's also here. And Shinnok, uh, I cannot pronounce the actor's name, my bad in advance. Uh, due to the grounds of, uh, apparently, this movie wanted to have a Star Wars approach for Raiden, Shinnok, and Shao Kahn to be a secret, long-lost family. F9 or not, long story, uh, yeah. Basically, um, I don't get it. I don't know why. And, uh, for Remar's case, he's okay, I guess? It's just, the minute he has to give up his immortality to prove to the Elder Gods that, oh, do you really like humans? Okay, give me your immortality and we'll totally, and totally prove it. Totally prove it in a fight. I was like, okay, that's, that's, that's brisk. Not as brisk as Jax's introduction, who basically takes out, I think, Cyrax, if I'm not mistaken. I know uh, Smoke got taken out early on, too. And round two, if there really was a round two for Scorpion and uh, Liu Kang, no, there wasn't. No, they never fought in the first movie. I don't think they ever do canon-wise in the actual series. However, this could have been a round two for, I don't know, Scorpion and Sub-Zero, which never happened in the first movie, but you get to have one now because they, everybody wanted it then. And, um, you do get, um, Sub-Zero 2, who's, uh, the older brother, or no, the younger brother that had to avenge the older brother, and ended up, like, stopping their feud by the time 10 rolled around the games. Yeah, again, the lore kind of helps, kind of doesn't. Nowadays, it's a whole thing. So much so, uh, my Nightwolf, uh, mentioned earlier, uh, he also, in, in Luke's case, he had to, like, find Nightwolf to go through a bunch of series of vision quests. Again, I wish I was kidding. And whenever I riffed it, it was pretty cool. It was like, okay, we're in the darkest timeline of the franchise, you can do some vision quests, and he's gone. Never to be seen. Not killed, just gone off screen. Never to be seen again. 
There were two characters also when um Shinnok basically goes through his Zordon lair. Yeah, I know I'm a, I'm a card carrying Power Rangers fan, but I'm gonna admit, yeah, you're doing a Zordon scene here. I'm not a Zordon scene. Uh, Lord Zed scene. Yeah, basically his his new his throne is like okay y'all okay everyone here that got like sh like shitted out we got rain we got motor we got uh, Shiva I think uh, yeah y'all okay y'all who been killing who who been doing a good job oh okay right you you let Cabal and Striker go who who are never seen in this movie by the way just mentioned offhand and and technically Paul does this also uh, oh by the way Paul never came back to direct this and I can see why. You stayed with the fan, uh, Resident Evil series for the last 14 years. Thanks. Thanks a lot. Okay, so anybody still wants a retro review, tell me in the comments down below. Or, I, I don't know, give this uh, video 1K likes and I'll totally do it. Not joking. Anyway, um, let me just fast track everything here because my phone's about to die. Uh, Rain gets his ass handed because he actually did his job. And then Shao Kahn's like, okay, cool. Still going to kick your ass. I'm like, but he did what you wanted. I don't know. <laughs> Look, again, as much as it would be funny to, like, show all the pics and stuff, I think my re uh, vlog reaction is about as good as you're going to get. Anyway, uh, Jade's also here. Uh, apparently, she was a Russian model slash... Oh, my... Oh, never mind. Uh, yeah, she's cool. She's all right. It's just... Oh, my God, she was in Zoolander? Holy shit. Sorry, the, the things you look up on IMD the minute you finally do is long overdue review of MK Annihilation. Um, yeah, her part of the Liu Kang's test. Yeah, this is still Liu Kang's test, by the way. It's like, are you gonna go to Horny Joe, or are you still cool with, uh, Katana? Chino, she, she, he's, he's still cool with Katana, but then immediately has a fight and takes a dive to be cool with him. And then later on portrays everybody for Shao Kahn, because she was secretly working with them the whole time. And if it sounds again, brisk, one problem. Jade's ever mentioned again, and gets immediately killed by a CG monster that's a thousand times worse than whatever Reptile had in the last movie. By the way, go to my previous review there, because I think I didn't even mention um, him at all. Oh my god, I just found the guy who had to put up with Cyrex, Scorpion, Noob Saibot, and had to be Baraka. Yeah, Baraka's also in this, and I think uh, the rumor mill, I think back in the day, was that it was supposed to be Sylvester Stallone as Baraka. And for those who have played Baraka or know Baraka's lore in, in the games, he basically, be, and his entire Dracodon race has become basically jobbers until like 11 was like, oh, this is Game of Thrones a little. And it kind of worked, not entirely, but I've always known Baraka, Noob Saibot, and I think, oh, there was somebody else that was such, oh yeah, uh, Ermac, yeah, Aramacro. Uh, that was the old uh, in-joke term for like, uh, I think a computer thing. Basically, for Ermac's case, uh, he was a teleporter guy who apparently also can summon Noob Saibot, who ended up becoming his own character as time went on, and being another member of Sub-Zero's family. Yes, I'm not kidding, <laughs> but again, this is Annihilation. This was basically when 3 came out, so let's just spam everybody that's already out in, out in arcades, so that's where we stand. Um... So yeah, uh, this is the part where I have to explain the second half of this movie, and like I said, leading up to this whole review, uh, it's kind of forgettable. Like, again, it's just it's just montages, them running away, having a fight scene. Oh, and Melina's also here, also still also played by Talisa Salto. The reason being is that, um, mud fight? Okay, actual reason in the lore, Melina's also the genetic clone. I think it was mystical or genetic clone, I never knew which. Go to her character ending here in MK11, because that kind of explains it somewhat. Uh, they're technically scissors, but also clones, and she thinks she's the other one, but has the chompers like you saw in the new, uh, movie coming up next, uh, coming out this week. Other than that, um, they never fought at all. It was a her versus Sonya fight, and again, like I said, mud because late 90s. Yeah. So, uh, after all those fights, uh, you get the, fi you get the finale, like, out of nowhere, which, again, going back to my Jax, like, has to learn a lesson kind of thing. Sonya technically did in the first movie, but Bridget Wilson did it better, so I don't know. Uh, is that eventually you need backup, and 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 and, and in Lou's case was still learning all the lessons. Oh, and Animali. Yeah, uh, Animali was um, I think a Nightwolf fatality that ended up being everyone's fatality either throughout three or four, and for some reason, the worst CG ever showed up. Uh, carved if I got time for the clip because it is just <laughs> bad. Even for the 90s, I gotta say. Like, even at the time, they would still shit on it. And the meta score, Wow, I totally agree with that. I'm, st I'm looking at reviews right now, and it's... Eh, not good. 
So yeah, uh, after that, Shinnok basically said, uh, hey, uh, Kalilal, not Kalilal, uh, Shao Kahn, long story short, um, I'm not gonna help you now, uh, I basically handed the entire world for you, and you still got your ass handed by this guy? Okay, cool, fine, let me just come in, and then the Elder Gods come in, who I don't think had canon names at the time, I forgot which is which, so my bad there, said, yeah, no, we're gonna put you in a cool, like, Superman, uh, Phantom Zone kind of prison only if it is settled the only way that this franchise knows at this point. Mortal Kombat. And the minute the Immortals' this theme came back in, I was like, oh, thank God. Okay, here's the real movie. Sorry, sorry, we just, we're like, we're, we're late in, in traffic. It was like a whole speed two situation. All right, we're here. Let's just get it go. And Luke King got his ass handed. And then the music came back up. It's like, oh, okay, and movie over. Yeah, it was that quick. Now, keep in mind, the reason why it took me four times to watch this is because how brisk this thing is. Plot-wise, it's the same movie, but with more fights. Thankfully, uh, like I said, Robert Sue did a better job handling uh, most of the stunt choreography, and you can really tell. But the problem is when you get to the third act, it feels horrifically rushed. I think in Kill Count's video, um, in Demi's case, uh, he basically found like a bunch of stage hands when you see like an HE, re when it gets HE, uh, when, when, whenever like an old movie like this get, get, goes to like 1080p or even 4K in this case for HBO Max, you can definitely tell the wire work. You can definitely tell like stuff that was meant to be in 4x3 with the, four, the old like TV format that you can like, you know, cut away and like hide. Here nowadays you kind of can't, like you could tell how sloppy this was by the end of the movie. But um, yeah, uh, also uh, said, I forgot all of Sindel. Oh my God, I just realized. Uh, go to my uh, preview uh, clip down below on my Tumblr. Um, her acting is bad, and again, I have nothing against the entire cast and crew, you did what you had to do, uh, except for the director, John R. Leonetti, uh, mainly because I think he ended up being in the, uh, a bunch of horror movies as time went on, I think one of them was Wish Upon, I could be wrong, no, I was absolutely right, oh, and helped out the Conjuring franchise, so... Okay, there may have been a silver lining there, so I'll give him that at the very least. Oh, and City's Chapter 2, good for him, honestly. So, yeah, um, that all being said, uh, looking up mostly the IMDb be out of sheer boredom and fear of annihilation. If you're curious, um, go ahead, please just drink, please, it, it's a get drunk movie with friends, honestly, I could tell almost immediately. Um, you can totally boo at the Molina fight, it was meh and boring, honestly, now that I think about it. The CG is god tier terrible, like, you can definitely tell it was stuck in 90s hell and framing and everything uh Jax is kind of like i guess there i i guess they wanted to get uh L -O cool j for this but he probably said no out of like obvious like reading the room in the script and so did linda ashby i think and most of his uh most of the cast on the preview was like oh it's gonna be like that fuck that pay cut no 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 pay, pay raise or i'm out and apparently, Lisa Soto and Robin Shu didn't really that read that much of a room. But that all being said, um, thank God I'm not doing a legacy. I'm not doing this numbered because if this was a numbered review, definitely one out of ten. Worst movie I've ever seen uh, for the for my channel as a whole. Worst Mortal, Mortal Kombat movie ever. And for God's sakes, please watch my Scorpion uh, Revenge review. That is proof of concept that this definitely can come back in a really good format, animation wise, no less. And um. Yeah, this is the review. Uh, my bad in advance for not doing the figures and stuff. I just wanted to get my thoughts out of this right away. So, um, what did you think of uh, Mortal Kombat Annihilation? Are you, are you checking it out on HBO Max here in the States? Or are you checking it out internationally and all that? Speaking of international, when it comes to the new re reboot that's coming out this Friday, I think it got delayed in Australia another week. I could be wrong. Please let me know for my international audience. Please let me know down in the comments down below. Is that? Hit the notification bell uh, for the next time I do the uh, reboot review and then cards finally coming up to my previous review which was my stupid theory that uh, Cole, Cole Young could be uh, Cobra again another jobber character that's gonna get uh, booked up I don't know honest, honestly other hand here to my uh, final um, finally reviewed uh, entire Into the Spider-Verse Stiltman wave um, I'm gonna be rechanging that ch title because I totally forgot the official term or I guess name for the whole wave as a whole uh, still worth it um Again, like I said, shirt here to the notification bell and shirt and and uh, and for the channel down below to subscribe for more content and to basically new line of uh, coming now this week for the new movie. After sitting through Annihilation, this cannot be worse. I'm going to be honest with you. You, if they screw this up somehow, at the very least, my only like my only recommendation for the studio right now. 
please don't be uh, Annihilation Man. Please don't. I, I don't want that again. So, yeah. Uh, take care, subscribe, and um, I can't believe I sat through Annihilation. Great. Just, just great.